So in this video, we want to cover the concept of matrix, stiffness matrix. And by how we would do that is through an example. So we have this structure here, and we're asked to find the stiffness matrix for each of the members. And in total, we have uh, six members in the structure. That's our number one, number two, number three, four, five, and six. So we, we have labeled our members, our joints, and then we go ahead and label our translations. So from in joint one, we have a translation in the x-axis and a restraint in the y-axis. So this is our translation one. We first label our translations in the x-axis and then y-axis. Then we label our restraints as covered in the previous videos. So the translations for free joints, these are actually re, uh, restraints. So the two and threes actually go here. The two and three x axis first, remember? So four and five. So we have got five degrees of freedom. And now we're asked to find the stiffness matrix in the local coordinate system. Okay, for that we do EA over L times our stiffness matrix, which is over here. Just gonna go ahead and copy it. So and units are very important. So one GPA is equal to 100,000 or 1 million kilonewton per meter squared. So uh, 200 GPA would be 200 times 10 to the power of 6, which is, this is a shortcut that I'll be using, times 1,500 millimeters squared. Let's convert that to, let's convert everything to meters. Uh, it'll just be easier. So 1,500 times 10 to the power of minus 6. That's how you convert millimeter squared to meter squared. Divided by the length, which is for member 1, it's 3, times this matrix. I don't want to rewrite it, so just point at it. And what we get is, if we calculate this out, and I pull out my calculator, we get uh, 200, um, 200 million times 0 0.0015. That's 1,500 times 10 to the power of minus 6 meters squared over 3 meters. We get 100,000 kilonewton per meter. 100,000 kilonewton per meter times the matrix, this matrix over here. So really our K1 would equal to this 4x4 four four matrix, which is 100,000, 0, minus 100,000. I think I have to delete this. 0, and then we got 0, 0, 0, 0. Then we have minus 100,000, 0, 100,000, 0, and then we have four zeros. So that's it, it's pretty straightforward. That's our stiffness matrix for member one. And for member two, we have EA over L times the same matrix, which is over here, which is over here, right? So we take our uh, matrix over here and we, j we would just put it here. But if we notice K2, the E is the same, the area, the cross section area of this member is also the same, and the length, which I did not specify to begin with, sorry about that, <laughs> it would be, it would be uh, the same. So the lengths are the same for members one and two, therefore our answer would actually be the same as this matrix. So K1 is equal to K2, which is equal to this over here. And 
likewise if uh, the same procedure would work for members three and four members three and four share the same properties so we would go ahead and calculate it like this uh, this matrix right or let me just go ahead and erase that so the ea over l times times this matrix over here and uh, this is also equal to k4 and k3 and k4 have the length is equal to four meters e and a are 200 gpa and 1500 millimeters squared so these are our information that we need to calculate the stiffness matrix for members three and four and the way we do that is uh, the same as before we just go ahead and plug it in um, so 200 e6 times 1500 e minus 6 over 4 meters times this matrix which we get to equal to um, 75,000 kilonewton per meter times the matrix which is essentially well let me just go ahead and put it there 75,000 0 minus 75 E3 just going to make a shortcut 0 0 0 0 75 E3 0 75 E3 0 so this is our stiffness matrix for members 3 and 4 and for members 5 and 6 if we look at the members here we just have to do a simple Pythagorean theorem and from that we know that these members are 5 meters long 3 squared plus 4 squared square root gives us 5 meter so everything is the same except for the length for members 5 and 6 which we get to be well we get uh, 6 well EA over L times the matrix right this matrix is the same for all uh, stiffness matrix calculation in the local coordinate system that's important to know so this is all for local coordinate system so what we get is 200 GPA times 1500 millimeters uh, times meter squared 1500 times 10 to the power of minus 6 meters squared divided by 5 meters times the matrix which is over here this this matrix over here is the same what we get is 60,000 over here right 60,000 60 e3 0 minus 60 e3 0 0 0 0 0 minus 60 e3 0 60 e3 0 0 0 0 so that's how we calculate our stiffness matrix in a structure and I'll do another example which might be a bit more tricky but they're all very easy especially in the local coordinate system and uh, I will show also how this is done in the graphing calculator how we can come up with a way to really do this much simpler so I'll cover that in in the next video after I complete another example